Hello everyone, it is time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 14 Plus and compare it against the iPhone 10 and see which specific phone is the better one for you. Now if you want to pick up either one of these devices, the links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can also support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can definitely tell that the iPhone 14 Plus is a much bigger phone overall than the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 came out back in 2017 and it was a thousand dollar phone at that time. So back in 2017, it was more expensive than what the 14 Plus is right now. So this phone, I think, was a massive change when it first came out. You had a six, you had a 5.8 inch Super Retina X, Super Retina OLED display. And it was a pretty good panel. I'm getting all these displays mixed up. I think the front of this thing still holds up very, very well, considering the 14 Plus looks pretty much almost identical to, to this type of device. So it's still 60 hertz. It's nothing, anything crazy. But I think it's still a pretty good looking phone, and I'm still a humongous fan of this device for sure. I still talk about it all the time. Now with the iPhone 14 Plus, on the other hand, you're getting a massive 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. Now with this type of panel, it is a way bigger display like I mentioned before. It is 60 hertz still, and honestly, I think this display in some ways isn't as good as the iPhone 10, but it gets brighter. It's a bigger display. I think it's higher resolution as well. Like this is a very, very good panel, but I think the iPhone 10 still holds up very, very well in this day and age as well. Now for the rest of the body, you can kind of see it's very interesting because the design is kind of different on both. We had the flat side on the iPhone 14 Plus, but we have this kind of curved side on the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 is also a much smaller phone overall as well. On top of that, you do actually have this reflective material on the iPhone 10, which I think is really, really cool. So personally, when you're actually rocking something like the iPhone 10, you were kind of feeling like a more expensive phone, which is really, really funny for it being, you know, so old, not so old, but you know, five years. The iPhone 10 has a SIM card tray as well, which is really nice. And they both have lightning ports at the bottom, speaker grills on the bottom as well. And on the back, we have a dual camera setup on both of these devices as well. So you can see we have a wide ultra wide and just a wide and ultra wide on both. So I think that's a nice touch on the iPhone 14 Plus, we have a wide and ultra wide. The iPhone 10, we have a wide and telephoto lens. So probably a thing to keep in mind as well. I don't think, again, it's a, a deal breaker, but I do prefer an ultra wide lens over a telephoto lens. They both have glass backs on the back, which is super nice. Again, I like having glass backs on both, which is a really, really nice touch. On top of that, they both have wireless charging, which is really cool. They both have IP certification as well, which is another really cool touch. And that kind of covers it up. There's really not a whole lot else that's like completely different between both. Should I prefer one over the other? Yes, the 14 Plus is probably the one you should probably pick up. But there's a lot of you know similarity between both as well. Now, the 14 Plus also has crash detection, emergency SOS satellite mode, 5G, dual eSIM support. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for the 14 Plus that the iPhone 10 doesn't really have. But I think it's still a very interesting layout as well. Now zooming out, if we go and take a look at the software longevity between both, the iPhone 14 Plus is definitely going to outlast the iPhone 10. In fact, the iPhone 10 is actually the oldest supported iPhone right now, or one of the oldest supported iPhones on iOS 16. I think that's kind of a sad thing. I feel like the iPhone 10 could have easily been supported for way more, you know, many, many more years. But I mean, there's not really too much we can do as of this point. We're pretty much just going to have to wait it out until the iPhone 10 kind of gets unsupported. I mean, it could be iOS 16, it could be iOS 17. We don't know for a fact. We're going to have to kind of see what happens in the future, but I'll probably tell you the iPhone 14 Plus is going to severely outlast the iPhone 10. It's not even going to be close. The iPhone 14 Plus is going to run laps around the iPhone 10 pretty much any way you look at it for sure. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now it's going to speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 14 Plus has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 10 has that Apple A11 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigs of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the fastest one between both. Okay, there we go. Let's go and hop out of the apps in the background and we are cleared out, so let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing, surprisingly. Let's go and get into music, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I think the iPhone 14 Plus again was substantially faster there. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into settings, 3, 2, 1. Okay, very similar. Let's get into the app store, 3, 2, 1. I think I'm, okay, so I'm still not gonna see the internet here. I still don't know why that is the case. Let's go and hop out of here. Camera, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Let's go and take a photo. So this one is on night mode. I probably should have stopped that. Let's go and hop out of here. Photos, 3, 2, 1. 14 plus again was faster there. Let's get into some of these third party applications that we have on both. So let's get into Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 14 plus, I guess faster, but this one's an account. Twitter, three, two, one. 
14 plus again is a faster one. Let's go and get a snake versus blocks. Three, two, one. And there we go, 14 plus, slightly fast. Now look at when I click on this. I notice that with the iPhone 10, there tends to be more glitching going on, at least in the beginning, but it does kind of smoothen out a little bit later. So you can kind of see the 14 plus also glitched up a little bit though too. So we can't just give it all to the iPhone 10. Let's go and get it into Thank You, three, two, one. And the iPhone 14 plus was faster again, the iPhone 10, a little bit behind. And there was a little glitch on the iPhone 10 and it crashed on the iPhone 10 as well. Very, very weird. That's not really happened that often before. Snapchat, three, two, one. And the 14 plus again is a faster one. Temple run, two, three, two, one. Now I will say I've played tons of Temple run two on both of these phones, or well, more so on the iPhone 10. Maybe there's not one that's like substantially way better than the other one, but you can see right here, the 14 Plus is definitely a faster phone, and you're going to be getting better graphical performance on the iPhone 14 Plus as well than on the iPhone 10, and that is not showcased even more so than in games like Genshin Impact. So if we go and load up Genshin Impact 3, 2, 1, even though I'm not going to play the game right now, the loading of this game is so much faster on the iPhone 14 Plus, it's not even funny. So... That is one of the biggest advantages of having a phone like the iPhone 14 Plus. Not only do you load into the game so much faster, but the graphical performance of these games is extremely fast as well. So that kind of covers up the speed comparison. I think it's quite obvious the iPhone 14 Plus is the faster one, but I still think the iPhone 10 holds up kind of well. It's still a smooth phone, but the 14 Plus is definitely the faster one for sure. Now in the camera department, as I mentioned, you're getting dual camera setups on both. You're getting a wide and ultra wide camera on the 14 plus but you're getting a wide and a telephoto lens on the iphone 10. you're getting 4k capability on the back of both of them but the iphone 14 plus has 4k at 60 on the front where the iphone 10 doesn't really have that now one of the biggest problems with the iphone 10 right now i would say is probably its graininess in some of the photos i think some of the photos of the iphone 10 they don't really look that sharp anymore they look kind of great i mean they look very grainy for the most part but i still think the capability is there you know this thing still has whether it's like you know 10x zoom that's still a ton of zoom to have i was looking closer you have you know the video mode you have slow mode you still have portrait mode on this phone too which is really nice now is it the best quality not really i think all of us kind of expect that right now but i think it still holds up decently well and you know it could be worse you know i think this phone could definitely have had a way worse camera than what it actually had so for it having the same camera as pretty much the 8 plus at the time was actually pretty nice and even the 10s kind of had the same one the 14 plus i think is a very very good camera for starters, one surprising thing, you only get 5x zoom compared to the 10x zoom on the iPhone 10, but that is pretty much where the only advantage for the iPhone 10 is. You're getting 0.5x zoom on the iPhone 14 Plus, which is really nice. You're getting video mode with 4K60 on the front and the back. You're getting this new action mode, which is cool. You're getting cinematic mode, which is like portrait mode for video. So that is a really cool feature we have on this phone. Still the same slow mode and time lapse and all the other stuff. You can portrait mode on this phone too, which is really nice. So you are getting a very good quality capable camera from the iPhone 14 Plus over the iPhone 10. So in my opinion, that is a really big advantage for this phone over the iPhone 10 for sure. And honestly, there's really only advantages for the iPhone 14 Plus. Now, I do want to say some things about the iPhone 10, but the 14 Plus, I mean, you're getting a way better, dis a way bigger display. You're getting better, much better battery life in this phone, better performance, better, I mean, build quality is not even better, but everything about the iPhone 14 Plus is almost better, which is really nice. With the iPhone 10, I think this phone for its price tag still holds up very, very well. I'm still surprised how great of a performing phone this thing still is for it being five years old. Other than that, though, I mean, I think it would make more sense to buy the 14 Plus or an iPhone 14. But you don't have to just go from this to this. You can also buy an iPhone 13 Pro Max, an iPhone 13 Pro, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, and you will still get a really big upgrade as well. So that kind of covers up this comparison. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.